Well, it says we're live. And now I need to click this thing off. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Rustic Ink Angel Designs. I am back for part two. Yep, believe it. I actually did it. <laughs> I actually followed through and, and I'm doing part two. And look at how nice and clean my desk is. Just saying. Look at that. Uh-oh. Just saying. And we've got Miss Miss Martha Townsend on the panel. Miss Nikki's in chat. Nikki's not feeling good. How's everyone tonight? Hi, Hi. Joanne. Hi, Hi Lynn. Miss Martha, Miss Miss uh, Nikki Nick. Yeah, Nikki's mouth is hurting. Poor girl. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've got everything. Um, warmed up and ready to go. So um, last night I had soaked this a little bit too much and so I had these flowers on it. I decided to take the flowers off because they were just entirely too wet. They still are, believe it or not, wet. Um, and so we're going to try a different little, little bit of a different style to this. We'll see where it goes. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So um, but I am going to use Stampendous. Um, we do have this in QCF store, Queen's Craft Fair. Um, these are the little teeny jars, which they won't last you very long. I've went through like, I don't know, I've went through several of these. Um, and so we've got these different colors. This one's called Shabby Pink, if you're looking for it. And it's got really nice... And what and exactly is it? It's embossing enamel. And so um, you read my mind there, Martha. Um, it has, instead of just one solid color, like your normal embossing powder, and you see how fine that is? That's really, really, really fine. This is chunks. And so the chunks, oh, there's Joy. Hi, Joy. The chunks are really thick. Um, you can really tell with the white. And, and so there's there's different different thicknesses. Okay, so like the pink is really thin. And then the, the gold, there's gold glitter. And then there's gold enamel. And then there's white embossing enamel. And then you can see this one as well. This one's called shabby white. And you can see how thick that is. It's It's amazing stuff. Then this one I think is, um, I don't want to guess, it's turquoise, something turquoise. So I'm actually going to be using this one and this one and probably this one. Yeah. Jean Joris is here. Oh, Jean! Jean made it! Whoa! I'm lurking. Felicia off the pole leather. Yesterday, just Bruce plus allergic reaction. Oh, she fell off. I, I understand what you're saying. She fell off the pool ladder yesterday. Not Felicia off the pool ladder yesterday. Right. Yeah. And she just bruised plus allergic reaction to something. Oh. Um, my face and mouth are really sore. Oh, wow. Well, I got uh, I got done with the show last night. And broke my toe. Just saying. Just saying. Yep. So I've been complaining about it hurting all day. I'm so sorry, Jean. That sucks. Oh, and then this is shabby. This is shabby blue. And you can see what it looks like. This is Ooh. the stuff that I used. Yeah. This is the stuff that, let me see if I can find that one. This is the stuff that I used and everybody freaked out and was like, what is that? And, and then Nikki, with her little stubborn self, she couldn't wait. And so she went and bought it. And I told her, wait, you know, we'll, we'll get an account because I love this stuff. And it's, it's so expensive everywhere. And so... Anyway, but this is not it. I grabbed the wrong thing. Dag on it. 
Anyway, but I do like that one. Haha! -ha! See what happens when you make stuff and then you keep it? <laughs> right. All right. Look at that. Uh oh! I like the swirly jig. Yeah, I'm going to use that too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And then this is just a flourish from, I think, Michael's or something. Joanne's, one of those places. Anyway, so this is uh, the Stampendous. So um, we have the, the larger jars of this that are like this size or this size in the store um, so that you can, you know, use it. Because you will, these little teeny jars, you will go through quite a bit. I mean, it, it does take a minute, but it's expensive. So it's better to get your your uh, best bang for your buck. <laughs> and then this is what I had on here yesterday. So I'm going to use it. Now, where is my... Here's my... Here's actually my Stampendous one. So what's really neat is this uh, these dabbers. These um, and you can just use your clear embossing ink. Okay. Yep, Martha's on the panel. Hi, Jean. And I like to, um, I like to use the dabber separate and then use a paper to catch the embossing enamel on because it. If you get the paper wet, then the embossing enamel sticks to the paper, and then you waste even more of your embossing enamel. So it is right. different than embossing powder. I'm just going to say it is different. And I do like to do different colors and do different layers and things like that. So... However, with these, you don't have to do all that stuff. You can just. I like the dabber. Isn't That's that nice? Cool. Yeah. It's, well, so I had a ranger pad and it went bad. Like it, I don't know, you pushed on it and then it just stayed flat. So, uh -huh. it, yeah, it went bad. Um, and so with these, you don't have that problem. And it keeps it clean, so you can do, like, you know, certain uh, edges and keep it clean. Okay, so I'm going to use this one, I think. What am I want to do? Like well, it. we'll see. I think I'm going to do the, this one on this. Oh, sweet. And then, yeah, so I think I'm going to do this one. So I'm making sure I'm shaking it up because you can see the turquoise that's in it. I want to make sure that it, it gets everywhere. And you can see how when you, you pour it out, you see how much blue. I mean, that looks so different than what it looks like in that jar. <laughs> And please do pour out the whole jar while using it. It's the fun part. Right? I can hear the chunks falling. Yeah. So now look at it. Kind of rust effect. Hopefully. You know. Ooh, look at that. Right? So I want to get these edges. Yeah, it's cool. I love this stuff. Amy Wolf is here. Oh, Amy. Oh, Amy's going to freak when she sees this stuff. We can't show you this, Amy. She's probably like, I've already been in the store and bought it. 
And Victoria <laughs> Phillips is here. Like I know it's there, Crystal. <laughs> I am using Stampendus. Remember, um, I don't know, a little bit ago, we, um, I had, we went live and I had showed you guys that pink. I forget what I was working on, but we got it in the store. Yay! And we got the, the regular size jars instead of these little teeny ones. Um, just because the teeny ones don't give you very much to work with. And trust me, once you start messing with it, you're not going to want to run out. And it is different than embossing powder. It's embossing enamel. And of course, yeah, I can't wait to see the effect of this. Oh, you're going to freak. Just saying. Nice glossy finish. Mm-hmm. See it changing? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wish it was a close up, but I love the magic effect. I know, right? That's weird that it looked like a, a teal with a bronze and it's coming out blue and silver. Right. Oh, angled. It's hot. Oh, okay. I see the gold. Yeah. And it's very it's, shiny. It's chunky. Like, I don't know if you can see the, the actual texture of it. Uh-huh. There it goes. Wow. Isn't that, that cool? Awesome. Isn't that cool? I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah, when I showed it on, <laughs> when I showed it, everybody was like, what? Where is that? <laughs> Victoria like, says, yummy. <laughs> right? Um, well, it was funny because uh, everyone was like, what? Where is that? And I was like, crud. Like I had no re no idea that like everybody was like I know how much I love it, but I wasn't thinking when I used it. I'm like, oh, I'm so dumb. Why would I use this and not? Um, how'd you know I'm working on an album cover? Because <laughs> we might know you a little bit, Amy. Just just a wee bit. Always in there, sitting there working on something. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go back through and repaint these, that um, copper color. I don't know. So now we've got that. Now I'm going to dab through this thing. Yeah. Warning. It's addicting. Just going to tell you. I, I warned you guys about the mold and the resin, so I'm just going to let you know. And I did before anyone tries it. Where's my where's my piece at? Um, I did try this stuff with resin and it doesn't work. So don't even waste your time. I tried getting, you know, I thought that the heat of the resin would actually do something, you know, and and uh, it didn't change it. And then I even use the heat gun and hit it and then it just wanted to melt the resin so yeah don't waste your embossing enamel with that you just need to stick with the um, mica powders okay where is a you 
Dabbers you can get at Michael's, and we'll have some in the store soon. Okay, and Amy says, still working out details, but I'm nearly done with the cover and then planning the pages. Awesome. Now, is this the journal for the challenge? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so here's this one, okay? This is the shabby blue that we have in the store. I love the shabby ones. Like, they, they are actually more my favorite than that. <laughs> but I love all of them. Don't get me wrong. But I, I just, I don't know. There's just something about that, that the white, the white color. No, I guess I, I guess I can't say that because I love I love those chunks. So I guess I can't even say that. You just like them all. Yeah, right. <laughs> but you can see, like they they go, you know, quite a bit of ways. But like, if I was to do that whole um, this whole piece of wood, then you know, I would use quite a bit of it, but. It takes a minute for you to use them. Why don't you explain the dauber, what exactly it is? The dauber has the um, has the embossing ink inside of it. So it's the embossing ink inside of it. And then the, the dauber is just a sponge. And so then you just... I meant like the name and stuff, woman. Oh, sorry. So this is a stampendous. <laughs> <laughs> This is a Stampendous, um, my toe. Um, this is a Stampendous dauber. And so you you can get these, where did I get this? You can get these at, um, you'll be able to get them at the store. We'll have them in the store. Yeah, um, Mike, uh, Nikki said you can get them at Michael's. Yeah, and then um, there is the Tim Holtz one. The Tim Holtz one is a little bit more expensive and it's thicker. As you can see, it's, this is more, oh, I got to get a drink. Sorry. Um, this one here is thicker. So it, it gives you a little bit thicker of a layer. If that makes sense. Yeah. And then, um, this is a clear. Amy and wants to know if you can still use a regular embossing pad. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I personally like these better because you can get, um, like on a stamp, you're not stamping into it. Okay. And then the, you're, you're only getting with this dauber, you're only getting the upper portion. So the, the area that you want the st of the stamp that is lifted, you, you only get that part with this dauber. When you're pushing into a stamp pad, you get the entire thing um, full of embossing ink. And so it just doesn't, yeah. yeah. I just, I like these better. Joanne wants to know, can you use a stamp pad on metal? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll do it here in a second. Give me a minute. Joanne's reading my mind. I literally have metal sitting right here. <laughs> and see, do you see the glitter flex in it? So this is where the Timmy heat tool comes in. Now, if you don't have the Tim Holtz heat tool, that's okay. Um, I mean, it sucks, honestly, but um what you can do is you can use the, you know your other your other heat tool but just heat it from underneath however you can see all the glitter that's in that well i don't know if you can see the glitter i'll show you in a minute but if i was to blow this with the other heat tool it would blow the glitter off so you will only get a third of the glitter that you will if you use the heat tool the the ranger heat tool that makes sense because the, the ranger heat tool has such a soft air 
and it heats up so fast that it it hits it and sticks it. So now, oh, that's hot. Yep. <laughs> So can you oh, see that? really pretty effect. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Wow. Can you see the... Cool. Hold it's still long enough. There you go. Wow. Nifty. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. And what's cool about the dauber too is that you can put it particularly right where you want it. You don't have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Metal. Metal. <laughs> I was Where's trying to get it out too. Where's my little metal things at? So, you know, there's this place called Chaos for You. And I got these medals from there. So. Nikki says, Crystal, Joanne made us a demand. We must do. Uh-oh. <laughs> getting what she's saying is get the dauber and embossing liquid in the store. <laughs> yeah, we're so dumb. We didn't, we didn't even, I guess I should say silly, not dumb. Uh, we didn't even think, oh, get the daubers in the store, girls. Duh. Yeah. Now, see, this with the metal, you, you're probably going to have to go over it a couple times because with the metal, it wants to... Uh, Embossing ink wants to kind of separate a little bit, but it actually might give a really cool effect as well. My dick is here. Who? My jeek. Oh, Magic. hi. Magic. 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 You can do magic. magic. Uh-huh. There's the song and dance. <laughs> Hey, that was that was pretty fun. I've decided uh, she would be know me as Ryan. Hi, Ryan. How are you? Um, John and Joe's friend. What? Ryan. Ryan. Uh, He's said been a long time since he heard that laugh. Oh my gosh! What are you doing, Mestis? Oh my gosh! Hi, Ryan. What the heck? Holy crap! I should tell Dennis. Yep, look. Yep, it's me. Oh my gosh! I was just talking to Steve. Steven. No, I won't be dancing with a broken toe, dang it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ryan, how are you? Holy crap! Long time no see, dude. I knew him since he was like 10. <laughs> I'll be darned. That's so cool. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. We were running a house and uh, he was a neighbor. And um, we, John and Joe, are kids that we, John, Joe, and Jackie are kids that we kind of took in. And um, Joe's dog's having puppies right now. Little bully puppies. And uh, anyway, yeah, and Ryan lived right down the street. Yeah, because I posted on Facebook. Oh, that's so cool that you came, Ryan. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm crafting. I'm making stuff, dude. Wow, that's so cool. How old are you now? Watch him say... I don't even know. I don't even want to know what he's going to say. <laughs> Victoria says, did you kick your heels up too high last night, Crystal? 
No, I walked in flipping. Oh my gosh, 36. Shut up. Oh, wow. Oh, I got to tell Dennis. Hold on one second. Sorry. <laughs> God, this is going to freak. Older than he was before, right? Right, Victoria? What? You took a screenshot, Nikki. Fastest. Fastest. <laughs> he said it's been a long time since you heard my laugh. <laughs> He's like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Dennis is uh, watching videos on how to do things to Mustangs. Okay, so now I am, I can't believe, 36 years old. That's nuts. He says he's always, you've always been a good person. Oh, thank you. So, are you married? Do you got kids? What? I can't believe Steven's daughter's 14, I think. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that's so crazy that Ryan's here. <laughs> okay, so here's the... Oh, look at that. Sticking to the mat. The mat. So, there is the... Metal. Oh, uh, nifty. Isn't that cool looking? Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. I've been married 16, got three kids. One is 16, one is 13, three, and one is three. Oh, my gosh. All girls. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So are you living in Logan or what? You live in Logan with, with Ryan? Or with uh, Steven? Oh my gosh, that is so nuts. I think it keeps for five days. Mm. Boise, Idaho. Look at Nikki. Ryan, can you tell us about Crystal when she was younger? Ryan, hush. <laughs> no telling secrets. <laughs> no, he really couldn't say anything bad about me except for I won't take crap. <laughs> I'll beat your butt, huh? Huh, Ryan? Beat that booty. <laughs> wow, that's so crazy. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just, um, I just talked to Joe like two days ago, and his dog was having puppies. He's still with Nikki. Wow. So, what do you do for work, Ryan? Sorry, y'all. I haven't talked to this kid for like freaking 50 years. Okay, so the embossing enamel sucks into the wood. Or the embossing um, liquid sucks into the wood. So. You gotta be quick. Yep. This is where, Amy, this is where this comes in handy because... You're not taking it, stamping it. Instead, you're just getting the top portion of it wet. What? I hear your cat. <laughs> she woke up from her third nap today. Well, she's a cat. That's what they do. They sleep. Come on, let's go get you some food. Come on. 
music promotion mainly book shows and I manage some rap. No, -uh, hush. Are you serious? Well, Jared would like to know that. Oh, you don't even know Jared, do you? Dennis's little brother. They weren't, I don't think they were around. Wow. So magic, huh? Is that your, is that, what? what's that name about then? You got to give me the 411. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Dennis, bro. Yeah. Oh, you do know him. Oh. <laughs> See, it's been so long. <laughs> I don't remember who knows who. I know everyone was around everyone. Okay. Oh, that's right. Because of the them with us in Lincoln on Lincoln. Okay. Yeah, Dennis, um, he drives a truck for um, a rebar company. He delivers rebar. He goes to Boise all the time. He just went to Boise two days ago. You need to send him a message on Facebook. Tell him to uh, stop by and see you. Okay. So now this is the white. This is I think it's called shabby white. Oliver's here. Oh, hey, Boo. How are you? Hi, Oliver. It's so funny. She goes to your show and she's called Oliver. She comes to our show and she's called Boo. <laughs> well, there's so many Barbaras. I decided to go ahead and just call her Oliver. That's why we call her Boo, Barbara Oliver, for her initials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured that one out a long time ago, Crystal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well,. Just making sure, Martha. You just want to explain it one more time? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just in case. Just in case. Amy calls her Barbo. Right. So, what I am noticing about the wood is... The wood you probably have to paint first. Just so? Yep. Because. Hmm. Well. There it goes. You just got to get, get them warm. Um, so those the little enamel chunks melt down. Because if you don't get it. See, and I'm, I get worried that wood's going to catch on fire. Because this little heat tool gets hot. See, it's still, it's still making that one hot over there. And it, um, yeah, but with the saturation of the liquid in there, it would take a little while before it would burn up. Right. Right, yeah, that's true. Huh? Man, that metal turned out cool, though. Look at that. Maybe. Oh my gosh, my stupid camera. Okay, it don't want to do it. <laughs> Never mind then. Okay, now this. Okay, so if I've got, if this is my composition, I want that little crevice there. And if this is here, and then, yep, those are warm. Joanne wants to know what color you put on the metal. Uh, that is shabby gold. 
I believe. Yeah, shabby, shabby gold. Yes, shabby gold. Hold on. Sorry, aged gold. There's shabby white, shabby pink. Okay. Shabby white, shabby pink, shabby blue. Aged silver and aged gold. Yep, this is aged gold. Okay. So if I've got that, that, and I've got these that are going to be somewhere. And then this. Ah! Wow, that's so cool. I'm, man, that's so cool that Ryan came to my show. Um, yeah, you know, Jeremy, Jeremy was working, uh, with Dennis and so was Jeremy's brother, Adam, Adam, that's his name. Um, they were working at Dennis's work for a minute. It's so crazy. Like this kid, I've known him. It's so nuts to, <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. It's crazy. You find people on the internet. That's for sure. It's, it's, it's crazy. Well, he sent me a thing for like a friend request, but I didn't know if it was him or not. And I'm always kind of weird about stuff like that. <laughs> well, now you know who he is. There you go. Right. Okay. I'm going to do this. I don't know that I'm going to need it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it just, just because. And see, it's already got, those have got paint on them, gesso. So that's why they're really grabbing a hold of it all. Um, okay, I want this to be shabby. Blue as well. I like the hearts on there, though. Isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. Oh, Talise is here. Hello, Talise. Hey, Miss Talise. Uh, Ryan wants to know if you guys are still in Utah. Uh, yep, we are in South Willard. We are 10 minutes from Willard Bay. Oh, yeah. Fishing, buddy. You know the the south entrance. We're ten minutes from the, not even ten minutes. Well, yeah, ten minutes from south entrance. Maybe even five. The yeah. little bridge, the little bridge we used to go fishing at all the time. That's five minutes from us. That's walking distance. He says I should stop by. We book shows in Utah three times per year. Wow, that's so cool. What, baby girl? <laughs> she is talking up a storm. Yeah, ain't she, though? Mm -hmm. What? So, is Stephen living in Boise? Then Am I just thinking he's living in Logan? <laughs> Am I delirious? <laughs> now that I think about it, I think Stephen lives <laughs> in Idaho too. <laughs> okay. Whew, 
man, that crap gets warm, though. Let me tell you what. Dang. He's still on parole, he said. Oh, Steve is? Yeah. I was going to say, he got a little hung up in a little trouble, didn't he? Yeah. I don't know about what or whatever. We don't have to go into details about that, but. Yeah, I thought he got himself hung up into something. Wow, Talise is waiting for Dart to do three hundred dollars worth of fireworks. Woohoo! And still grilling. Dang. It's a party at Talise's. That's what I was gonna say. Party time at her house. Okay, I think I'm gonna use it on that side. Okay, so, see, this is sitting on top of that. So that wood, this type of wood is different. It doesn't, doesn't have a finish to it versus this one does. And so it's sitting right up on top of that one. The embossing that soaking in. Right, the embossing ink is sitting right on the top, which is nice. So I guess you just have to pay attention. This wood here is kind of like a... Scrabble tile like that type of wood and this which I think that's what cedar and then this is pine So that's probably what the difference is So you do gigs and clubs then or you manage people that do gigs and clubs Ryan That's so crazy. He's in my show. That's just nuts. <laughs> I can watch from the window. Go outside and watch them fireworks, woman. He says he does both. He manages and books shows. Hmm. Huh. Good money then, huh? Must be. Is that all you're doing for work? Or are you working? Do you say he's working somewhere else? I don't remember. No, I haven't seen it yet. It's amazing. You never know what people are going to grow up to be. It's pretty crazy. Okay. What do I want to do? Nikki says, Crystal is tickled pink, right? And then she says, oh, my God, I sound like my mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, I've known him, him since he was little. Like, I remember, oh, my gosh, it's so crazy. And he's got the biggest, prettiest eyes you've ever seen on a child. Oh, my gosh. And long eyelashes. Well, I used to babysit for Cherie's kids, Tamara and Brandon. And I hadn't seen Brandon in, what, 30 years? Or 25, something like that. And he was at the bar one night, and he said, Martha. I said, yeah. And he said, it's me. And it's like, oh, my God. It's crazy, he said, oh. right? He was, he was my little boy. He was my little boy. Right? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, he says, my wife works full time. I stay home with the kids and do what I do on the side. Oh, oh how nice. Right. Well, he, he's he got a really, he, he's always been a really good, docile kid. Like, he was always very shy, very polite. could be a little turd, but he was always very shy and polite and respectful for the most part. And uh, like, he never disrespected me ever. Um, and so I could see him being really good with kids and stuff. And I could see him being a good husband because he was always been, see, <laughs> yep. You never been to jail. Exactly. <laughs> And that says a lot, <laughs> growing up around the people you did. <laughs> I 
Growing up with Steven as your brother. <laughs> no, Steven's a good guy. He just always has a bunch of bad luck. <laughs> Man, I love this one right here. This freaking aged gold. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Now they had 30. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Dot, dot, dot. It is. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about it is, okay, so you can go in as far as you want. So you see, and I, this was a lot darker. So I can leave this. I need to hit it one more time, but I can leave it like that with that dark like that. Or you can go in and just bring completely out a lot of the gold. And then it will, um, and then it will do that. What is going? I'll show you up close so you can see what it is that's happening to it. But it's going to be hot right now, so I don't want to touch it. I'm learning. Don't touch. It's hot. <laughs> you need a little spatula so you can just pick it up with that and show people. Well, you know what? You got a spatula? I have little tweezers. Where are they? There you go. There they are. Hmm. Imagine that. See, Martha, you're so smart. So you see the... Oh, yeah. Gives it... the All of them, what I've seen is it like kind of like gives it a patina. Yeah. So if you melted that spot more, it would liquid right on out. Yep. Okay. It just depends on, and you know, you just got to to learn to stop where you want to use it, you know. So like if I, yeah, if I hit it right here, then it's going to make it a lot more gold like that. It's going to bring that gold up. But I want to leave it to have the black accents. Okay. So now... And I don't know what I want to do with this. What do I want to do with that? I Victoria do. says, you need some things. And then she says, no, thongs. And I put, you mean tongs? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get it right one of these days. <laughs> Knowing her, she probably meant thongs. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. Need some thongs. 36. That's That means Joey's 36. That's not even fair. That means I'm getting old. So where's your babies at, Ryan? Are they with you? That's so crazy. Where's your babies at, Ryan? That's just nuts to even hear me say. This is not the frontage. He says, yeah, they all live here. Well, yeah, I figured, I figured that. I mean, are they are they with you? Like you're watching them right now? <laughs> he said we just bought this house a couple years ago in Boise, Idaho. That's so cool. Idaho, a good place for you. For gold mining. Yeah, it gold is. panning. I mean, gold panning. Yeah. Dennis's um family owned a claim up in Klamath Falls. Uh, Northern California. 
and they've pulled. And you're still out. home. I'd be there panning, man. <laughs> yeah, he he wants to go pretty bad, but he, to go panning, you gotta take off freaking forever to go to to do it. That's so, called camping out. Yeah, it's called going broke. <laughs> His uh, his grandfather um, lived like that, and like he was always just broke. He'd find a nice chunk, and then you know that would carry him over for a year, and then he'd be broke again. It's like, eh. My mom went panning in Idaho, and she went to go visit the relatives, and. I would love to try that. I haven't never done it. That would be fun. It's fun. It's it's a lot of fun, especially if you find something. Mm -hmm. You can come here. You can come here and go to um. Oh gosh, what's the place called? Topaz Mountain. Um, I have a friend who he put his daughter through college. He found a blue topaz, and it was like this. So it had six, four points. One, two three, four, it looked like a W and they were connected in the center and it literally paid for her college. Wow. You, you can get out of your vehicle on Topaz Mountain and find red barrel and blue Topaz and pink Topaz and stuff like that. I want to go to your house. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh -huh. Darn right. Yeah, I told um, I told Nikki when, when she comes out then we need to go. Because I just think I think it would be fun to um, to take Nikki and her experience finding something like that. Yeah, you know, I went, you know, to Arkansas to the diamond mine down there, and I didn't find nothing. Hmm. And it was so dry; it was oh. I'm just putting little sprinkles. Just to give it a little bit of a an altered edge, an altered look. I hate wasting this stuff. It's like ah <laughs> don't want to waste crumbs. I'm going to stay there until I find enough to pay off the house, <laughs> Nikki. She's going to be out there with her. I can see her now. <laughs> I'll be like, Nikki, it's time to go. Nope. Nope. I ain't leaving. I got to find me a big, big rock cow for my house. <laughs> Darn right. Or a bunch of little ones. So see me just... Me just barely putting those little speckles on there. That's what that changed it to. So you can add it too, you know, so I could add more. I could add like the blue and white in different spots if I wanted, but I don't want to. I like the way that looks. I'll show you it up close in a second. The thing with embossing is, especially with enamel, because it is such a thick substance, it's completely different than your embossing powder is that if I touch it with this, it can lift a chunk out of it. And so I'm not wanting it to... It takes a while to dry, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. No diamonds, just sunburns. Then she'll be like, Nikki isn't going to be crafting a board and my husband left the business. All right. <laughs> or push you off of it. Oh, gosh. 
She wouldn't do that unless I find a big topaz. Yep. I'll be like, I gotta go. Start the car. It's like, oh, I'd be there till who knows when, trying to find another one. So now look at that one. Me. Isn't that cool? I yeah, it is. God. I really like it. Well, and and especially if you were to put it on um like a ornament, you know? <clears throat> That'd be really cool. Just saying. Just saying. I could just sit there and play with that stuff the whole night and not do the <laughs> not do the composition. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side for a minute. And then because Martha, um, I was talking to her just a bit ago. And sorry, Martha, I'm gonna throw you under the bus, actually. Okay, fine. <laughs> they tear off four wheels hit me though right <laughs> run me over really really well will you right <laughs> um what challenge what <laughs> well ryan when i see you i'll have to have you come to my craft room and we'll have to craft he said that's dope <laughs> <laughs> right victoria till the cows come home uh-huh here ryan i'll show you something like other things that i've made really quick so here's something else i've made and you can see like all the texture and how it makes it look all rusty all that grunge. So this, as a matter of fact, you guys, here and where was it? Here and somewhere else. I use that frontage. I use that that gold there. So you can see those big chunks that it it did. Mm hmm. <sighs> maybe um you can see those big chunks that it did and so it also gives you a texture so but you didn't heat and boss it you just put it on there oh i heated it up yep i put oh, it on okay. yeah i put it on when the um the texture was i had already what did i do i'd already gessoed it and then I went through and textured, and then I put it on when the texture was wet. And then um, I, oh, and then my foot, um, I put it on when the texture was wet, and then I heat set it, and then it created a resistance effect or whatever, you know. And so then it, it could be, um, it can still be seen like spray won't go over top of it or anything. You can spray on top of it, but it won't stay. Um, so Martha had asked me a question earlier. She said, so Crystal, you've, you've done like, you know, 900 videos <clears throat> on Crackle. And she said, I still don't, I still have, you know, I don't understand it. And so I'm wondering how many other people don't understand it. So I'm going to explain it to you guys the way that I explained it to her. Okay. <laughs> well, I just, want to make, I just want to make sure everybody understands. Because you think that you you know everyone understands and then you find out nope. So just making sure. Um so I painted this this mushroom gray tan color. Okay. And Nikki me, I'm still in crackle 102. <laughs> so I painted it this gray mushroom you know, tan color. All right. And then I put the crackle medium. Where is it? 
I put this over top of it, and it's the clear. Okay, I painted it, and now I've let it dry. It's dry. And then I will put another color over top. Now, when it cracks, you're going to be able to see this tan behind it. So you always need to be thinking before you do crackle, you need to be thinking about what you want your project to look like. So if I wanted it to be turquoise and white, I would paint the entire background turquoise. I would do the crackle and then I would put the white on top and then you'd be able to see the crackles through the white cracks. So um, it, you just you just have to learn to think of it as a layering process but what gives it the effect is there's a chemical reaction that happens between the crackle once it's dried and the paint when the wet paint goes over top of it so i wanted the the wagon to be have the gray cracks shining through it because it's going to give it an aged look and so um, that's why I've chosen to do this color. Um, I could have done like silver, or, you know, whatever, whatever it is I wanted. I could have done it like copper and then put crackle over top and then put silver. And then it would be really, really, really cool looking. It would give it a really neat looking um, concept. But whatever color crack you want to see needs to be your first color, right? Yes exactly but you need to think kind of like we've been doing in the mixed media class you know you kind of have to think backwards same thing with this scenario you have to think backwards you have to think what what am i going to want the base color to be what am i going to be want the accent color to be because the accent color is going to be this gray the ba the main color is going to be what i do on the top and then that's where you ch when you choose you know how you're going to decorate it so you choose what um hi crystal how are you so then you choose what um you know color accents you're going to be putting on and all that kind of stuff so i would want the cracks to look like a rusty color <laughs> he's so cute um uh, so let me get this real quick okay so this little birdhouse i did okay i painted the birdhouse this color this gray so you see that gray through there you see, it's the same color as that. Yeah, we see. Okay, so this gray is what is in the, the cracks. And then you do this as the, the complementary color. So then I had to choose, okay, what am I going to want this to be? And then this is crackled as well, believe it or not. It's just lightly done. So that's, that's what you're looking at. And so you can see here I painted this tan and then did the green over top. And so you can lightly see it, but it all matches. It all looks good. So my part of the concept. I already have a crack, Victoria. <laughs> oh my gosh! What? <laughs> what? 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 Oh what? <laughs> I couldn't grasp the concept. <laughs> and then Joanne says, "Me too." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> And then Victoria says, too much crackle. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I actually like the crackle paste better. It's easier to achieve the desired effect. It only gets rusted if not you. <laughs> yeah, but, but here's the thing with that is... It actually is a, it's actually, careful bubbles, you okay? Um, it actually, depending on like how thick you put it on and all that kind of stuff, it's a whole 
separate effect than what this is. And see, so many people get confused. But yes, I agree. I love, love, love the crackle paste. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, yes. Very much so. <laughs> Y'all are naughty. Okay. Now, what color am I going to want this? I'm thinking I'm going to want it to be a white, a cream color. Where is my... Now, what kind of paint do you use on top of it? Any kind? You can use any kind. I really like... Um, you mean like acrylic or... I know you, oil probably wouldn't work, but... Yeah, I don't, th I don't know if oil would work, honestly, but I do like chalk paint on top of it. So to get a rusty crack, which is best to use... <laughs> You better get some WD-40, Victoria. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Three and one. Right. <laughs> you, better, you better handle that crap. <laughs> I can't believe Joanne jumped in on that. Y'all corrupting that woman. Poor little sweet Joanne. Little angel Joanne. <laughs> uh, Crystal Castle. We just got done doing. So I was showing them. This is Stampendous. Embossing enamel. Emboss. Yep. <laughs> Embossing enamel. <laughs> this is stampendous. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's this. There's this. <laughs> this is stampendous embossing enamel, too. <laughs> and this one. Man, when I hold it still, I don't breathe. <laughs> so that you can actually see it. Yeah, I like that gold. I like right? the white. I like, actually, I like them all. Right. But I like the white one. It just has a different, a different look. Yeah. Yeah, that looks cool. I love that color. Mm -hmm. But you can see, if you notice, do you remember I poured it like this? So you probably don't want to do that. Because <laughs> you see the, the lines that I created? See, I'm picky. So you guys probably didn't even see that. It's been driving me nuts. <laughs> um. I'd say if you're going to put something that big is to pour it into a paper and stir it around and then lay it upside down on it. Yeah. Well, you can, you could sprinkle like a little bit here, like pour a pile, pour a pile, pour, pour a pile, pour, and then just kind of shift it around as well. I don't know about making it, um, have the embossing ink on it and then, dunking it. I don't know if that would work or not. Dipping it into it. It, it might. It would. It, it probably would. I've got to put my embossing powders. Yeah. Okay. So, oops. Okay, I don't know where that one went. So, again, Depending on which way you want your cracks to run. <laughs> Gosh. I don't even want to know what y'all are going to say now. <laughs> Just saying. I don't even know. 
and depending on how how wide you want your crack <laughs> then you're going to make it <laughs> then you're going to put it on really thick if you want it wide if you want little teeny ones then you're going to do it thin and i'm wanting thicker ones These are going to be thinner, smaller. Thick, wide crack, Nikki asks. <laughs> See, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I don't ever get away with nothing. <laughs> and Crystal Castle said, thick is in. Right? <laughs> Okay. You know who we didn't see last night was Negan. Uh, no. And I was kind of hoping we would because. That was one of the pluses about going on late last night. I was telling Nikki. Dag on her. But she said something about she's going to be on vacation or something, right? Mm, I don't remember. I haven't seen Clint in a long time either. Oh, no. Huh? I hope everything's okay with his grandmother. That's what I always worry about when, if I don't see him for a minute, I always think something's wrong. Yeah, I went to his uh, channel yesterday and couple weeks ago he finally he got some happy mail so I watched that and I haven't got no comment back from my comments so hmm. I hope he's all right You have to be careful, though, about putting it on a little too thick. And you have to be careful going over your lines like I just was doing. So like this here, if I don't pay attention, it's going to start sagging. And then you'll have a snacky crack. <laughs> Snap, crackle pop. Right. And Nikon did mention something about going on vacation on Facebook. Yeah. Right. Well, I remember she was at your show and I seen her and she was, you know, telling me that she, she hadn't seen us for a while because we hadn't been on live for a while. And No one likes a shaggy, a saggy crack. Huh? Castle says no one likes a saggy crack. <laughs> right. Well, let me tell you, this one right here might be a little saggy. Just saying. See that there? Dang. I keep lifting it, but it keeps coming back. 
gives it character. Yeah. I just don't want it to be real saggy. I'm almost thinking that maybe I should lay it on its side and let it dry. Do one side, then do the other. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to do this front. Did I even crackle that? Oh, I didn't. <gasps> Shame. Yep, I didn't crackle that. I crackled the bottom. Talisa's all my cracks are wide, thick, and saggy. <laughs> 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 oh boy let's get to the song and dance man who who uh who knew that doing crackle paste was was going to be so entertaining <laughs> right yeah i think i'm gonna lay it on its side and then I think the wheel, I'm going to do a different, I don't know. Yeah, the wheel, I might do a different color. Okay. So I'll let that dry and set up while. So you can see already all the cracks that are happening. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it sit up and dry. Where can I set it? She says you have cracks on top of cracks. Yep. I love me some crackle. <laughs> love, love, love it. Okay. So now. Back to I have no idea what I'm going to do here. Just saying. I have no idea. It's funny. You get a, a certain like design in your head. And then once that veers away, then it's like, mm, don't know what I'm going to do now. Okay, so if I've got all those. Joanne says, I will never look at crackle paste in the way I it was intended again. <laughs> Poor Joanne. Uh, I'm sorry, Joanne, you've been corrupted. <laughs> Poor woman. <laughs> Mm, I don't like that. I don't like that. Good girl. Where are you going? Well, come on. She's like, I'm gonna show you where I want you to go. See this see this dude over here? <laughs> no, they're shooting fireworks off. Oh, that's what she's freaking out about. 
Come on, babies. Come here. Come on. Come here. Poor thing. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. I might cut that in half. Good girl. <sighs> tea. You need to make me some sun tea. It's summertime. Might as well. Right? Summer, summer, summertime. I just sit back and I'm warm. Okay, so if I put that there, ah! If I put that there. Shirley wanted to come watch, but her hubby wants to go to Walmart, so she will watch the replay. Dang him! I think your new kitten is cute, and I was wondering if you named it yet. Lynn. But maybe that. I'm going to hide that. Sorry, I'm not even paying attention to chat. Trying to figure no. out what I'm wanting to do. Oh, is there pretties? Is there pretties? Is your cat freaking out about the fireworks? Oh, she's listening. Yeah. And the furnace went off, so she it's not covering the sound of it. Oh. Yeah, I wish, I don't know. I wish, like, they would hand out... Um, like CBD oil or something like that for animals during this time from the, like the pet places. Yeah. So cats and dogs don't get stressed. Cause that's, you know, that's when 90% of animals run away is during fireworks. Yeah. They should never be outside when they're going off. Nope. Good girl. And there's Good so many girl. people that don't even think about it. That's right. Makes me mad. Hmm. I've been thinking of a name for Lynn's putty cat. What color is it? It's a gray tiger. Is it a boy or girl? Well, I don't know. Lynn, is it a boy or girl? I couldn't quite tell in the pictures. My my boss wants to give me a cat. <laughs> Ryan says, man, this devil lettuce got me feeling good. Oh, no. <laughs> is it legal in Idaho? It's a girl. Hmm. Must, I think it's legal in Idaho. I know it's legal in a lot of states now. I don't I don't name a cat until I learn a little bit about the cat. Right. But I would name it something in the crafty world that you like to do. You know, um I don't know. Um, hmm. it's a tiger stripe. Yeah, it's a gray tiger. It's got a really cute little white around the eyes. If it's a, um, if it's a boy, call it ticker. No, well, that's too common. E I double G girl. <laughs> yeah, call it crackle. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he's Lisa got Paul sure is Panther Lily. Oh, I like that one. Her cat's funny. Lynn has a tiger and or tigger and noodles. Okay, so tigger. Call her Poo or Roo or wait a minute. Kanga. I'd stick with the Disney names. Christopher Robin. <laughs> Victoria's son named his Tack. Tack? It's okay, baby girl. Yeah, like a tic tac, but tac. Mm -hmm. So, is there a tic? I like I like the word the name noodles. I really do like noodles. That's cute. That's really cute. Or doodles. <laughs> come here, doodles. <laughs> yeah, and then noodles will come running. Can you hear it? Doodles, here, devil doodles. <laughs> Yeah, noodles is cute. Noodle doodle. Is that you typing? Yeah. <laughs> You're beating the hell out of that keyboard. Well, it's my fingernails. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey. How many times per week are you live? He asks. Um, well, usually just once a week, sometimes, well, twice a week, usually the last couple of weeks we've been slacking cause I've been working a lot and Nikki's been working a lot. Um, the girl that is disorganized crafter, we have a business together. Um, it's called Queens craft fair. Does your wife craft, Ryan? Uh oh. We're going to get Ryan crafting. <laughs> I'm going to make it some stuff. Um, anyway, we have a, uh, a online craft business. And, um, and we both work jobs. And so we've been busy. And uh, so we haven't been live as much as we normally are. But we will be here because things should be lightening up again. So at least a couple times a week. But I usually post it on Facebook like you've seen today. I usually try. And, if I remember, if not, somebody else will for me. Usually no notifications. Oh, cool. Yeah, you'll have to. Um, you'll have to craft with us. Come to one of the um, the mixed media. We do all kinds of different types of shows. Where did I put that heart at? It fell. Did I do four or five? I did five, right? I would right. do four. Is there one underneath what you laid down? No. No, I fell. And now I can't, I can't find it. <sighs> Sorry, Is there pretties? I hear pretties. Okay. Okay. Oh, do you hear pretties, baby girl? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, come here. <clears throat> okay, well, I don't know where it went, so I'll just put the butterfly there. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, we usually post it in the the Facebook so that people know and so people can come and see but we'll we'll have to uh <laughs> we'll have to get you crafting and um and then have you come on the, the panel or something so everybody can meet ryan <laughs> i can't believe you uh, that is so crazy i was so shocked Blow my mind. 
He says, okay, sure. And I do not go live at all. Oh, <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> Just something. Yeah, why, right? You you should do that for your business. You would think that would be a good. He says, I don't know. I guess I could. I just have not. LOL. Yeah, you. it probably would be a good thing for your business, honestly. His wife will come home from work and he's... <laughs> He's he's on the show with a bunch of girls. She'll be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> She'll be giving him the beat down. Please don't forget the thumbs up, like and share. All right, like, share, subscribe. Yes, you are an introvert. <laughs> Yes, you do sit and stay in the shadows. <laughs> so Nikki used to be that way too, and I brought her out of that. <laughs> she tried hiding in the shadows. That don't work. Life is too fun when you talk to people. <laughs> Yeah, I had no problems going live. I wasn't jittery or nothing. I was the first couple times. I, I really was. But I can I can get out of it. I just figure everybody's here to be my friend. And <laughs> Okay. Oh, hi, Phyllis. Phyllis Shadowans. Oh, hi, Phyllis. How are I you? I never came on live chats, but I have to say you ladies make beautiful art. Oh, thank you. So we're featuring new products. We, uh, we have a store called Queen's Craft Fair. And you see this stuff here? That's called embossing enamel. And then on here, it's embossing enamel. Hopefully you can see it. So it's different. There's embossing powder and then there's embossing enamel. And so I'm uh, so I'm showing everyone the difference between the different ones. As well as I'm also doing another project. We're doing two projects in one today. But thank you. That's so sweet of you. You'll have to come and join us a little bit more often. At least let, let us know you're in here <laughs> so we can say hi to you. Right. Right. So, hi, Phyllis. Martha is on the panel. She is Martha Townsend, and she does a YouTube channel. And then Nikki, Disorganized Crafter, um, she is... Uh, what am I trying to say? She has a channel as well. <laughs> and when it comes to Nikki, you go blank, right? Right. <laughs> what is Nikki? <laughs> she does beautiful stuff too. Yep. Oh, well, everyone. 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 I was just going to say that too. Yeah. Martha, Martha is on the mandala kick. And let me tell you. She is kicking butt at the, the mandala kick. That's all I got to say. Look yeah, how I love that's this. Addicting I love this one, though. Do you see that texture? Yeah. Like I, I really, really, really like that. And that was just a little accident or whatever. A happy little trial. I'm thinking I should leave... I should leave the side of it open, huh? So I could slide a picture in it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. That's what I'm thinking. Make sure it's dry first. Right. 
Well, I have a um, I have a picture of a little girl that I think I'm gonna put on it. Uh, Ryan, you should you'll have to text me your address, and then I can make something and send it. Still, Crystal, you have not tried. Ah, oh, hi, Toby. Say hi, Toby. Yeah, sorry. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have a steady hand here. Uh huh. Uh huh. I can't talk and breathe and do the glue gun. <coughs> oh, is that pretty? Yeah, good girl. We have fireworks going off, so my cat's like kind of freaking. Okay, now flowers. Again, <laughs> we will try this again. And Nikki says, hi, Phyllis, just to let you know, we will be looking for you from now, from here on out, but we won't stalk you much. He, he, he. <laughs> oh, Laurel's here. Hi, Laurel. Hello, Laurel. How are you, Miss Laurel? She says, hi, ladies, popping in for a few. It's been a long weekend. Wanted to say hi. Oh. Not a bad big girl. Yeah. Wanna try out some of that new kitty nip I found in the drawer? I forgot was even in there. You gonna make her over when she's all stressed out, Martha? Yeah, it's kind of like uh, CB oil or whatever. CBD oil? Oh, guess what? No, it ain't. No, it, it'd make her all wired. And no, that's not for you, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of daddy's little jars to hold stuff in. <laughs> That was one drawer I haven't went through yet. Oh, really? Yeah. But I know, I think, we will, we will look, Holly. Because I think my dad is way in here. If not, we'll have to wait. That's not a new bed. The plate. Ah. Let her go. So these are flowers from craft supplies for you. I was on their design team, and now Nikki is on their design team. Um, and Laurel is on their design team. Okay. How have you been, Laurel? Okay. 
Okay. So I think I'm gonna do eh, oh those look those might not look good. Are you yawning? Oh, I'm not sure what that was called. I think I just needed some oxygen. It's too early to yawn. <laughs> In your case, it might be. Well, yeah. yeah uh -oh. says when my cats are being hyper at night, I give them catnip and they play and eat and then they pass out. Right, Castle? Right. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they do. They only they spaz out for like two minutes and then they're they're done. Oh wow! See, I've never given them it at nighttime because because I didn't want them to spaz out and be up all night long. <laughs> keep me up all night long. The only way I can keep her playing is if I give her her rat that's filled with catnip. After I give her catnip, then she can play for a little while. Hmm. But other than that. No, they just lay down and like, oh, wow, catnip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got a rat. I'm going to fluff her up and squeeze it and squish it and get that catnip inside all freshened up again. So we're getting ready to be entertained by Martha's cat. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> yep. Tiffany Solaro, just popping in to say hi. Hi, Tiffany. Hey, Tiff. How are you? We're on Hangouts, on YouTube Hangouts. Okay, so if I put that there, and then I want to put another one like here. Sorry, I'm not reading chat. I'm doing this. Um, I'm on Ryan's page and he plays video games. <laughs> yep, he does. He always has. <laughs> and that's all that's on here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh, Ryan, you're being found out. I have no idea where Barbara Higgins is. Oh, I hope she's having a good day. Poor little lady. Okay. So these are parchment flowers from uh, Craft Supplies for You. And I'm thinking I should put like this here, this here. Yep. Okay. And yes, you don't need to use all of that glue, but I want to make sure that it's going to stay and it's going to stay right now and stuff. So that's why I'm doing it. Okay. 
when you're doing uh, these little bouquet of roses, you can, you want to at least do three little pots of threes. Squeeze the five. It works a lot better. Looks a lot better. It's more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I like playing, um, I like playing Little Big Planet. <laughs> and no one plays it anymore and it sucks. <laughs> Little Big Planet. I love Little Big Planet. <laughs> I want Nikki to buy the game so she can play with me. <laughs> How sad does that sound? That sounds sad. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got to find a different game everybody else plays, honey. No, Little Big Planet. It's so fun. I'm telling you, it's fun. He says his kids play Little Planet too. Oh, I have all of them. Um, I think. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have all the little big plan. I just play Fortnite. I haven't played Fortnite yet. I know. I just was talking to a kid about playing Fortnite at the nursery. So I need to, I guess, play it to check it out. I have Halo and all that, but. So that's a, what, game three player or whatever they call it? Well, so. PlayStation 3 or. Xbox, yeah, PS3, PlayStation 3, um, yeah, little, no, can, yeah, you can play Little Big Plan on that. I like playing Mario Brothers on the Wii, and I like playing. Oh, I got Wii, and I haven't played it in years. Oh, I love the Wii. We got oh, it the bowling. And I like the Xbox. I got the Xbox as well. I got all those stupid games. <laughs> but I have Halo. I've got um, Assassin's Creed and like all those ones that everybody was going nuts about. But I just love Little Big Planet. I'm not good, but it's fun. I like the emotes and stuff. I'll have to check it out. Are you um are you yourself on there, Tiff, or do you use another name? If you use another name, you should send it to me so that when I go on there, I can find you. He says I have Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation Four, but when I play games, it's on my PC. Yep. Oh, really? See, that's so crazy. Why are you gonna spend all that money on all them game systems and then you play it on your computer? I know why. The computer is better. I, I know why. But it's like, why bother spending all that money on the games? Okay. There's those. I'm thinking I want to put those there. Do I want to put those there? For right now, I will. And then I'm thinking I need to have some other. Yeah, look at that pop of orange. And June had bad storms come through earlier. Lost power. We'll watch when we get power back. Cell phone dying. Hugs and kisses. Oh. We miss you, Jim. <laughs> okay, I need one more of those orangey ones. So these are parchment flowers, of course, from Chaos for You. These are I am roses. And I do like to use both. Just depends on what it is that you are 
trying to create. Oop. I don't know that I like that there. It is cute though. So I don't know if I should. Tiffany says, I haven't played Final Fantasy in a long time. My husband got it for me when I was like, blah. I am not going to like this. And eight years, eight hours later, I am still playing. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Super Nintendo. I haven't, I haven't, not since Herb's gone, since he went, I haven't done, I've turned into an introvert like Ryan. <laughs> Well, then you should be playing games more then. <laughs> That's your only connection to the world. <laughs> I have one game I play, which is Fish World on Facebook, and I have my crafting that you guys got me back into, and thank you all for that. Hmm. Of course, what are friends for? Nikki says, I love the zombie shoot 'em up games that scare my dogs because I'm screaming and yelling at the TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you guys ever played that game, Best Best Fiends? Nikki didn't know what it was either. It's a game on your phone, or you can get it on the computer. Anyway, um, I got her playing that. She's already like way past me. I'm like, what in the world? Uh, Magic says, I think I am going to take the kids to Lagoon Frightmares this year. Oh, cool. Oh, fun. Boy, that brings back some memories. So there's someone else in here, uh, Ryan, named to Toby. She, uh, oh, did I ever say hi to Toby? Hi, Toby. <laughs> I don't think I ever said hi because I was gluing. I was holding still. Right, you didn't. She, um, she's actually from Utah. She's visiting Utah right now. Well, so, uh, Great Adventures brought, bought them out. Ryan. Toby, Ryan is magic. He is a kid that I've known since he was like 10. Knee high to a grasshopper. And uh, yeah, I posted I was live and he came in here and I was like, oh my gosh, Ryan. So yeah, it's been funny. It's been cool. Okay, so there's that little mixed media piece. I need to get the picture though really quick. I'll be right back. Jeez, Nikki's on level 1980 on Candy Crush. Yeah, see? She's crazy. I wasn't joking. I play that, but only when I feel like I'm really, 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 really bored. All these TVs are so new, I'm not sure. Still hook up the Super Nintendo. No, actually, the new TV's got every attachment you need. All you got to do is plug it in, baby. <clears throat> okay, Red Dead Redemption. What is all that about? What's up? Uh, they're talking about Red Dead Resumption game. Oh. There's a fab right now is what Talise says. Tiffany says, that's cool, Crystal. No one in my real life watches me, LOL. <laughs> I'm in your real life, Tiffany. 
I've been watching you since you first started. The heck? I guess I don't count. I get what you mean, though. A real person that you actually... <laughs> that you actually know. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I've known him since he was... We rented a house when we moved to Utah. As a matter of fact, it was our very first house we rented in Utah. And then he is a neighbor. We live next door to the landlords. And the landlords' children, we ended up taking in. And, yeah, I talk to them all the time. Anyway, um and this kid lived down the street and you turned right. He was like the second house on the right. And he was always at their house, which made them always at our house. And so, yeah, I've known him for a long, 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 long time. And he just showed up tonight in the chat. And I was like, what? So, yeah, I haven't talked to him for a while. He sent me a he sent me a request on Facebook, and I don't think I accepted it because you never know these days. People are, there's some weirdos out there. Yeah, and what gets me is I was going through my friends looking for somebody the other day, and it's like, who are these people? I, You know, how are they getting into my friends list? And I know I didn't friend them. It's, yeah. I don't know. It's weird. I think people can... Um, I think people can. Okay, maybe I should be cutting this on the outside. And it's like, well, I know they're not in that game. I haven't played Farmville and oh my <laughs> God. So I, I was really addicted to Farmville. Are you serious? I never could get into that game. And I love animals, but I couldn't get into that game. I like Farm Town too. Farm Town was oh way easier to play than Farmville. Oh, I do need to cut this. Talise says Cassidy is playing Spider Man. Mm. Oh, no. Nikki said, what is Fortnite, and do I need to buy Xbox One or PlayStation? <laughs> Computer. Huh? I think it's, uh, I think it's PlayStation. <laughs> oh, no, Tiff. Here we come. <laughs> A crafting and an Xbox retreat. <laughs> right. Do, 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 do. That's Nikki sending me a message. I bet. There's another three messages from Nikki. She's going to be, I was looking at, um, Nikki Fortnite is free. <laughs> no, tell her it's $5,000. It's crafting money. <laughs> Just tell her to send it to you, Tiff, and then you um, and then you send her a uh, the app. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be so mad at me. Okay, now I just need to get my good old... Timmy! Timmy! Where are you, Timmy? Visage photo. 
She says, laugh my ass off. I'll never play Little Big Planet with you. <laughs> 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 Nikki's on pain pills, so <laughs> she wouldn't believe it's five thousand dollars right now. <laughs> and then Talise says, "Anyone remember Chrono Trigger?" No, Talise, you're old. I do remember Breakout, though. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. beep. <laughs> And Space Invaders. No, I was going to say that one or that tennis one. Yep. That's what's cool, though, about the Xbox. The old Atari. Yeah, it was the old Atari. Well, and now, you know, they keep selling the Ataris, and they've got them for, like, $300 now. It's ridiculous. You could be rich if you have an old Atari. Well, Just Fred, Fred has one. Yep. He could... He could, um, just like a record player. Oh, did I really cut this too short? No way. Oh, isn't it cute? Except for the picture's a little too small. That's going to drive me nuts. Now I'm going to take some. Now that it's dry, now I can take some white paint and I can do this. Maybe. Oh, the Sega Genesis. You know what? I still have the Sega Genesis. Sure do. And my son always wants Fortnite, right? See, they know what, what is kids. Fortnite about. I have no idea, I haven't played it, <laughs> but I know a ton of kids are. Um, there's that YouTuber PewDiePie, and if he says to do something, those kids jump all over it. It's nuts. He, he is that guy's a billionaire. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and I'm just going to dust maybe. Gosh, I don't want to spread the colors. Gosh, so irritating. So now I'm just going to highlight, pull a little bit of that color out. Sorry, I'm not reading chat. Well, they're just talking about the games, and uh, Talise uh, says she gets to play while the kids are at school. Um, I just put down that I've got a game for Super Nintendo called Alfred Chicken, and I tell you what, that little chicken, I'm stuck on 
I'm stuck above a door and I can't get back to the <laughs> point where I need to do before I can get under the door. <laughs> what? This is funny. I, I'm stuck. <laughs> I am. I'm stuck on it. <laughs> And that game, you got to write down your little codes and all that stuff. And it's like, oh, God. No, I'm really? going to go in under a new person just to play the whole game again. I don't know. I'm probably only on level seven. <laughs> <laughs> you start playing it again. Oh, I'm on level two. <laughs> I just reinvented an avatar for no reason. <laughs> yeah, right. Get past level two. <laughs> Then you get level five. Oh, I need to reinvent myself again. I can't get past this place. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, Nikki says as soon as the kids walk out the door, Kelly's playing the games. All right. Kids away, mama gonna play, she said. He's playing the games and the husband's starving, so he's eating cat food. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed grill with that. For is it pate or is it shreds? For y'all that don't know. For y'all that don't know. Her husband ate cat food one time by accident. And uh yeah, we haven't <laughs> we haven't forgotten about it yet. Poor dude's starving. She's over there playing the game and he's freaking eating cat food. Poor dude. My husband's probably eating cat food right now too. <laughs> Sorry, Talise, I just had to. <laughs> She's probably, daggone it, I should have never told them. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to wash it out anymore. I like it the color that it is now, except for those. You're going to add more gold to it? I don't know. I'm going to um, I'm going to dry it. Not with that dryer. Then think the, about it. The other dryer. And then, yeah, I might. I was thinking I might come in with some. Uh, some portal, actually. Kelly says she used to play Red Alert all the time. I don't know what that one's about, neither. I think it turned out cute. If I do say so, I feel. I like to play dominoes. Right. Table, table game dominoes. We play chicken foot with double 12s. Oh, well. that, you, can play, you can play a whole bunch of people on that game. Chicken foot. Yep. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever heard of this chicken foot you speak of. You know, why can't I just put these colors back? How is it that they get lost? Here it is. And Crystal says, ha, 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 that's okay. My dad did that, too, when I was a kid. He came home from the bar drunk and thought he would make himself a sandwich, pick the wrong can. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what was going to try to make, tuna fish sandwich? Yep, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. It's kitty pate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perfect. 
Yeah, I kind of like that a little better. Mm -hmm. I did, the other colors just weren't going with it as well. And so it was dragging me nuts a little bit. Tiffany wants to know what colors you are using. Oh, Miss Tiffany, my favorite. Oops, I almost spilled this. Which is Cape Cod Coral and Clam Baked Beige. And then the turquoise is turquoise is time traveler teal. And then I did have a little bit of the uh, Lindy Squirts. Oh my god, where did it go? This one, uh, the Looney Tooney Teal. That Looney Tooney Teal has a lot of purple. Well, you can't see it, but it has a lot of purple in it. And uh, so, it, yeah, I kept working on it last night, but I had it too, too wet, too saturated. So, like, I had these flowers on it, but they just, yeah. I had it too wet. And as you know, trying to do things live and keep the color um, and keep it dry and keep working is so hard to do. I don't know how you do it. You you uh, do a really good job at doing She said, oh, ladies, Crystal has the squirts. And she's <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I remember our first video was, we got the squirts, do you have the squirts? <laughs> and we just thought that was the funniest thing ever, to be able to say that. I am going to go in with a little bit of wax, though. But we got, um, oh my gosh, Tiffany, I don't, you've, I think you've messed with Stampendous. I'm sure you have. We got um, in the embossing enamels. Do you see that? And that? And that? That's the embossing enamels by Stampendous. Oh my gosh. They are amazing. I, I love them. I've used them forever. But um, yeah. The girls hadn't seen them before. And so <coughs> um I brought them out and they, yeah, they're, we got them in. They're really, really nice. Where's Firebird? Firebird. Nope, not that one. Not that one. Firebird. I don't know which one will look best. Nikki asked, which ones did you use again? Um, I used Looney Tooney Teal, Time Traveler Teal, Cape Cod Coral, Clam Baked Beige. Oh, and then I did use Steampunk Sepia last night, which gives the brown hue through it. Now I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to use, which one do I want to use? Ooh, look at that color. Says, no, Fontage. Fontage. I'm thinking, what, the enamels? Oh, the Fontage. It was uh, the shabby white. The shabby, the aged silver, shabby blue, shabby pink, shabby white, aged gold. Aged gold. Okay. I should know that one. Watch a movie with Abby. Oh, what are you guys watching? Tiff? Tiff, what are you watching? Okay, now which one color are you using now? This is Firebird. 
Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to continue that. So how come I didn't say anything yet? Um, this is Firebird by Art Alchemy. It's Prima. 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 Man, these waxes smell so good. If you guys have never gotten one of these waxes yet, <laughs> even if you just buy it to smell it, <laughs> I'm telling you. Tiffany says she's not sure yet because it takes two hours to agree upon a movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds like me with my daughter. Well, have fun, dear. Thanks for stopping in. Don't know yet. Okay. Now, hey, so hard. So this is the age silver. So I might do, uh -huh. I might do this turquoise, where's that at, for this one, and then go over it with the, we're going to play around here for a minute. And then I'll hit it with the hit it with the firebird again to highlight those again. Which finger do I use? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and and if anyone ever gets um, a wax and it has this type of label on on it, it's fine. Um, it's just, they, they go through different stages of making different ones. And so that's all that it is. It's not a, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing different. People, people get a little freaked out about that. Lynn Young says good night for it's a four o'clock for me. Thank you all oh for your company God. and laughs. Gosh. Good I night, Lynn. Good night, Lynn. Thank you for coming. 
You are a trooper, woman. That is so crazy. <laughs> okay. I think well, I'm going to call Sunday nights are good to go on, didn't I? Mm-hmm. I did. Well, I did tell her that. Yes, you did. Well, I think it looks cute. I think I need to hit a couple spots with silver because I don't like that on there. That one's okay, but the other ones I don't like. Where did the silver go? And this is silver by Art C, which is my Art C .com. Um, I don't remember where I got it from. I do love it, and it does give a different look than old silver does, and so that's why I'm using it. It gives a brighter um, hue. So it just depends how picky you are. Nikki wants to know, why do you put silver on? What does it do? Silver. <laughs> <laughs> silver um, just gives it that last. You see how there's so much. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's so much attraction over here because it's bright and there's silver fleck in this. So I'm trying to bring some silver fleck over here just to kind of balance it out and highlight it a bit. If they make a song with silver and gold, it can't be wrong. Right? Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Now I got her singing Christmas songs. Yeah, thanks. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Had a very shiny nose. Hey, I cannot believe that last night when we did not say anything about heart. Can't believe the group. it. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So you want your eye, you want your eye to come across the your project. Okay, so if my main focus is right here, I want this side and this side to be equally balanced. They don't have to be the same thing, of course, but you want it to be equally balanced so that it draws your eye all the way across. You don't want to just be looking at something and then er, stop. That would be like having one side of your car painted and the other side not. It's kind of the same thing um, with the it. silver. The silver has a shine to it so good that it just brings your eye to it right yeah it it, it draws you all the way across yep so see here i'm making a really nice shiny point to come across and there i'm going to make a shiny point to come across And then I'll do a little bit right there and a touch there and a touch there just to kind of give you an overall balance. And that is it. Voila. What are you, and you did something with the flowers. You brushed a little wood on it. Just a little bit of white paint. I used white paint instead of gesso. Um, I just wanted to try it. I hadn't used white paint before to highlight. Uh, and I was just kind of curious what, how different it is, um, and it was no different. Um, the gesso, I was wondering if, you know, with the gesso, if that causes the ink to transition and bleed into it. And so that's why I thought I would try the white paint, and the white paint did the same thing, so... But it didn't bleed too bad. It only bled on the non-porous surfaces. So on these little beady beads, Nikki, thank you. On these um, little beady beads, um, that is where they are, they're not porous. So it was able to bleed color through. 
but with everything else, it didn't bleed color through because it was, this is all porous. So just try and remember those things as well when you're working with things like that. And I let this dry overnight. So I didn't think that it would um, allow it to bleed, but it did because it's a non-porous surface. So that's why. So it's just, it's just a matter of fact of using things, trying different mediums, figuring out why, the cause and effect, you know, like they taught us in school, the cause and effect. If I spray ink on something that's non-porous, then it's the effect is going to be it's going to continuously leach out the color um, versus, you know, if if I um, put it on a porous surface, the porous surface is just going to suck it up and keep it and then um, not let it bleed out. So, yeah, I think it turned out cute. Yeah, it is pretty. Very pretty. Joanne it's, it's very pretty. It's, it's uh, you know, mixed media style industrial chic. I, would, I guess I would say like shabby, 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 shabby <laughs> vintage chic. Some sort of thing like that. I am going to get my. Yeah. I was going to say saggy, but that the saggy continued with the that thing. <laughs> <laughs> now yeah. look at the crackle. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. I got it. I got it. And see, you can see my brush strokes clearly because you watched me do it. However, if you didn't see me do this, you wouldn't even pay attention to that. I like it having it thick and thin. So you can see how... On this one, it's very, very thin, and then the thicker it gets, the larger the cracks. These are just little hairline cracks in there, versus this is heavy, so therefore it's very, very thick. Um, but I wanted to show you. So do you see this sag right there? That's where that extra paint was. Yep, right there, there, there. Yep, that's where I overlap paint, and that's why I say it's okay if you're missing some. If you're not touching See there where I missed it? It's okay. See right there where I missed it? It's okay because it's it just gives a more authentic look. So don't stress on, oh, I got to get it perfect. You know, don't don't stress on that. So now I'm going to do the crackalacking on this side. Ryan says very good indeed. You like this? Oh, my gosh, he's still here? He's still here. Uh, wow. <laughs> Holy cow. I can't believe he's still here. I thought he left a long time ago. No, well, he's still here. Wow. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do this and then I'm going to let it dry and then um and then I will be done for tonight, I'm thinking. Um I'll let it dry, but because I've got to go fix dinner and stuff. I should have done it before I came on, but mm -hmm. I didn't. Okay. He said, wrap my ass off. Yeah, I'm on my PC just letting you play in the background while I do some work on here. <laughs> uh, so the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to do go straight up and down on this side and come sideways on the other side. The cracks will look different. They will run differently. So it will look funky. So just saying, don't do that. If you're going across the top or here or something, that's one thing. But to do it in, in, uh, be on the same thing, don't. It, it will look funky. Just saying. 
save yourself the heartache because I have already learned that that lesson. <laughs> And Joanne says, so Crystal's closing out the video with one last crack. <laughs> yeah, yes, Joanne, I am. <laughs> oh, okay. Carol says, uh, dinner? No, you need to dial a number and have takeout. Who says that? Crystal Castle. Oh, right. Oh, I will be. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I want though. I don't know what he wants. He's very picky in his old age. Let me tell you. It'll drive you to drink. So of course on the bottom it you know it it doesn't matter. You, you want to try as best you can not to go back over. Now, would it be, now I've been watching how you're using your brush strokes. Okay. Yep. You're all, that's what I wanted to watch right there. Right Going there. back, like start at one end on one side, the other end, the other stroke. Yeah. Yep. So go here and then pull it down this way. And then like here, I'm not going to top of that or this because I will mess up the crack. So Can't you want it because it's not in view. Oh, dang. Okay. There you go. So for example, here, I just did a stroke here and I'd already done a stroke here and I just had to touch it right there. So I turned my brush sideways and pulled it because I don't want to go back over top of this and I don't want to go over top of that because you will mess up your crack. Okay. <laughs> You will mess up your crack. I know, right? It's I'm telling you, it's a it is a it is a um a science. Just saying. Crackling. We like the word crackling. And then see this was thick. So I just dipped in there and I'm just pulling it back up. So I'm pulling it away from there. And then I'll go and I'll pull a little bit just across the top. Don't push down in it and then mess with the your coating, your crackling. Just like here, see how there's a pool there? So I can just come in and just touch it very gently and pull it and then lift some of that off. Yeah. But you don't wanna, you, so it's so difficult. So then you wanna, t right here, I'm just gonna touch it, pull it, touch it, pull it, touch it, pull it. All right. Don't cover up your old brush stroke. Right, exactly. And so see there, I missed, so I'm just going to just barely, barely touch it. You don't, I don't like to do that, but I will just because right now we're doing this. Um, so here, I'm you going to. Through right, your arm, honey. Turn the whole thing around. So here, I know that I've only got this much paint loaded on my brush, brush that can go, do from here to here. So I'm literally going to start and then just pull it. And then here. I'll flip it around. And I will have my brush hanging off so I don't overlap. And then I'm just going to pull it. And see there I can hit it again because that was just a little teeny bit. There I can hit it again. Here I can hit it again. Here I can hit it. So it's, you just have to, once you start playing with it, you'll see what, what it is you need to do. Um, it, it is a science, though. It does take a while. So don't beat yourself up if you can't do it because it does take a minute. Some people get it right away and get the concept. Other people just don't. And so here I'm just going to touch. I need a little bit, load my brush a little bit. I'm going to touch. Touch, 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 touch. Just because I want that little bit of closure around it. 
but I will let this dry and then like here I've missed that little spot so I'll come in and I'll just barely touch it um, and it's not like somebody's gonna look on the bottom of it but I have learned to finish my projects because there's a huge difference in looking at a project and then somebody flip it over right in front of you while they're looking at it and then you're like oh yeah I didn't finish that sorry you just feel stupid so just saying if you want to prevent yourself from feeling dumb then that's what you do you finish it all the way and then I'm probably going to do the wagon wheel a different color the the this wheel and then uh, I don't know what I've got to put crackle on the front here because it's not it's not done anyway alrighty guys I'm going to go for the night and it's been so much fun having <sighs> sorry <laughs> so much fun having you guys here um and uh i want to say a special thank you to my buddy ryan i think it's awesome that he he stopped in and said hi and hung out with us ladies that's pretty cool um but i will see you guys tomorrow in the mixed media class um I do want to give a special shout out to Craft Supplies for You. Um, I did put you some of their parchment flowers. I'm no longer a designer for them, so this is some of their parchment flowers. Um, but Miss Nikki is, and so is Miss Laurel. So um, yeah, go give them some love and support and stuff. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Anybody who, if you're on here, and you have not came to the bye joanne um if you've not came to the mixed media class and you would like to please send us a private message and then we will send you the private link because it is it is private so all righty you guys have a good night bye ryan bye everyone thanks for coming bye we'll see you next time